Hello guys, welcome back to another session of Power Automate Basics and this time we are going to discuss about Compose. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal and there we can understand what is the significance of Compose in the Power Automate ecosystem. So guys, I am inside the Power Automate portal and I am using the same example which we have seen in our previous session that is variables. First thing which I am going to discuss about how to create the compose action so it is pretty much very straightforward you will come over here click on this add icon add an action and over here you will type compose it is it is part of the data operation connector and over here i will select compose so this is so this way you can add the compose action now the next question over here is why do we use compose action to answer your question we use compose action to hold the static values so what it means so it means that if any of the values which is not going to change within the flow logic such values we can keep inside the compose action and you must be asking that the variable which we have used in our earlier session where we are keeping the site address that is also not changing so can we keep it inside the compose action then the answer is yes such kind of a thing you can always keep inside the compose operation inside the compose action now next i would like to share you one of the excellent feature about the compose action is that you don't need to define their types so over here suppose if you are specifying a string value then this compose is take it as a string if you are mentioning over here number then it will take it as a number you don't need to mention explicitly about the data types or data you are going to keep so whatever you will keep it over here that compose will take it as their respective types so guys for an exercise purpose what i am going to do i am not going to use this application context variable instead of that i am going to use the compose and within that i am going to keep this json value and this json value contains the site address as well as list name and let's do it because this is not going to change in the course of power automate logic execution so it is an ideal candidate to keep our configuration inside the compose action so over here i am going to specify the json value over here and i am going to call it as rename const app context and over here i am going to delete the application context over here that is a variable so i will delete this one because i am not going to use this one and now i will go to the get context i will go to the get items and over here instead of variables what i am going to do I am going to use outputs and out over here I am going to use the name which we have specified const app context so I will write const app context and remaining thing I am going to leave it as is copy this one and put update and over here I will do the same and over here I will put it and here the list name is going to be the same because I have kept the var list name as a key update and I will do the same for this one i will come over here select this one paste it update come over here select this one and paste it update now we are done with the update process and i have converted from variable to compose and why we are using compose because this information is not going to change in the life cycle of the flow execution so i am going to save it and over here you will find that the moment we are changing anything within the update it is losing the data so over here i am going to update the title again and here i will mention title that you already aware about because this exercise we have done and i am going to tell that title i will call it as compose back support this is for the example purpose so over here i will show you you will find that we are having the text support over here that we are updating with the text compose text support so let's go back so now we are done click on save once it is being saved let's go back and click on test i will run manually test run flow done now you will notice over here the execution is going to be successful and you will find that there is no difference in the execution and we are passing the site address as well as the list name with the help of compose operation so wherever you find that your data is not changing you can keep it inside the compose operation now the question over here is when should i use compose and when should i use variable so to answer your question i would tell that wherever you are having the dynamic logic is changing on the basis of some condition then in that scenario 
you can use variable so guys this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care